Fonditalia, ci troviamo con l'Insland, siamo in quel di Passo di Lavazè. Uh, I Lin is your first time, yeah? Yeah, it's my first time. What do you think about this place? I love it. We've been here for a little bit more than two weeks and uh, we'll stay one week more. And we thought before that three weeks maybe would be long, but it's been really good. So we haven't done, we, we haven't done everything you can do here. And um, yeah, it's been really good days. So really good training and really good, um, like a um, easy place to just train and um, have a good, nice time. What's been your summer training? Uh, last season, uh, obviously, you, the last two seasons, you had some problems at the start of the, the training. So it's the first time after three years uh, yeah. that you can start to train from the From the beginning. beginning. Yeah, I think I didn't. Um, well, last year I had a lot of problems with my injury, with my shoulder. So I wasn't able to train as I should or as I wanted to. So this year I started training in the beginning of May and have been feeling strong and I've been doing everything I want to do. So um, I think last year I didn't do any impulses on roller ski and now <laughs> I started with it from the beginning of the training season. So it's I really, it feels like the old me now. Is it giving you some more confidence probably? Yeah, I know how good I trained before my best seasons on the World Cup. So it feels good that I can do what I want. Like if you're an athlete, you always want to do those things to be better. And when you can't do that, it's, um, then it's um, hard to feel strong and feel like you've done everything you can to be a good athlete. So now it just feels good to like make a plan and then do that. Uh, what's your feeling about the last season? Uh, uh, I remember an interview you in Planitza, you told me, I want to win a race before the end of the season. You uh, got sick, yeah. before, uh, <laughs> so you cannot finish this. But now, if you think to last season, what's your feelings? Uh, I think it's my best season ever. Uh, if you like look on the training I've done before the season, I trained so badly last year. I was in so much pain and had so much trouble with my injury so it feels like i've done my best season like if you have that in mind uh, but it's not the best results i've done in my career so yeah but it feels like it's my best season after what i did to be there it like if you would have talked to me a year ago it wasn't sure that i could be on the starting line so it feels like a victory just to be back on the starting line and then be on the world championship and then be so close to medals on both the longer distance and the shorter. So it feels like I'm slowly getting getting to the athlete I want to be. So how much angry you are to return to win a race? Yeah, <laughs> I'm like looking forward to uh, compete a little bit more the next season because last se season I started to compete like not in the beginning and then I got sick in the end so I just want to compete like every weekend and be as like um, as good as I can in every races so I want to race much really much and race both sprint and distance so I'm looking forward to that uh, probably the now it's the in the sprint races yeah. is totally different uh, for in the women because uh, I remember when you have the injury you were one of the best and probably the best because you had a, uh, you won a lot of race in uh, Haru uh, but there's Lampic, there's Falla now it's totally different it's now it's the return of uh, Shistad for example uh, there's your uh, teammate yeah. uh, um, um, Jonas Sundling so uh, how much different yeah well I think uh, sprint have always have high level like um, and we Sweden girls have been really good at it since you know back in the days they took Olympic gold and then we had Stina and then we have a lot of girls now so it's really you have to be really really good to win now a sprint mm -hmm. but I think it was like that before but the level is 
it's not just two person who can win a race. Now it's five, six, seven. It's so many girls who are equally strong. So you need to have that day to win. And I think it's much nicer. It's much nicer to really like give it everything you have to win a race than feeling like, okay, I should win this race because I'm the strongest. It's much more fun to be like, everyone here can win and yeah. You need to be like really good to win. Um, I, I remember uh, you told uh, it was at, at the end of the season 2020 that your target was to be the last uh, fractionist uh, for the Swedish team. The last? The last fractionist, the last leg oh, for the Swedish okay. team. Yeah. Yes, I, re I remember. Yeah. Uh, so now uh, you. you mm, I remember last season, at the end of the season, you had a very good race yeah. in distance race. Yeah. So is still uh, your target? Yeah, like my main goal for this season is to be equally good in both disciplines and both uh, distance and sprint because now we don't have a um, championship. So you need to be good the whole season to be able to compete um, in a total score. So like my target is to be as good as possible in everything, not just only a sprinter or a distance. I want to be like the same good in distance and sprint. And then I know I have like, I have some really good results in distance, some really good in sprint. So I don't see myself as just a sprinter or just a distance racer. But um, my, like my, my biggest, um, go some ski is to go like fast and go sprint so i think that would be like my core thing but um we'll see we have so many options like maya did uh, the last leg this year and did it extremely good and um the on the olympics yona did it and did it extremely good and uh, so we have many girls that's the good thing if yes, someone sick <laughs> or injured we can still be a strong team Last question, Val di Fiemme, yeah. 2026. Uh, uh, and I remember you had, uh, you won a race yeah. during Val di Fiemme, a sprint race. Yeah. So, uh, what's your feelings with this track, uh, with this uh, location? Yeah, I really like it. It feels like a skiing mecca. You know, <laughs> it's been uh, world championships before here, and we have, I have a lot of good memories, both from watching skiing on the television when I was a kid, like Johan Olsson scold in 2013. And um, yeah, I had some good races here also when I was on the Tour de Ski. So I hope to come back here in the Tour de Ski and then come back in Milano. It will be like a main goal for the upcoming years.